Hi, Water Signs. How are you? It is me, Lauren B. Welcome to the Untitled Tarot. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. If you are a newbie, then welcome in. We are very grateful to have you here. We're going to do your Element by Design readings for December. So if you're not familiar with those, what we do is they're an Elemental Monthly. So I do them as a family. So Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, all of you together. What we do is I pull three oracle cards at the beginning to see where each of you are just energetically take your temperature and then we pull two tarot cards one to see kind of what you went through in november what we're leaving and then another card to see what we're going to be dealing with in december then i pull another oracle card as your focusing energy what we need to kind of pinpoint in on focus on in december and then i pull two advice cards so one is like an advice affirmation card and then another one is going to be um, a crystal recommendation chakra recommendation card for you so that's what we got going on we're going to use five different decks we're going to bop around it's going to be real fun so i hope you're excited as always let's start with prayer father god thank you for being here with me and my water signs I ask that you give me wisdom, clarity, and discernment to deliver these messages accurately for December. I ask that you bless and that you cover these cards for us today. We praise you and we thank you always to the utmost high. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, water signs. So, we're going to use the Spirit Animal Oracle deck, the wild, the wild unknown Spirit Animal Oracle deck, for your general energy to kind of see where you're at, what you're going through, how you're feeling, how my little, my little water babies are feeling. Couple shuffles, couple shuffles. Hope you're all doing well. Holiday season's a little, it's a little different this year because of the, the Rona. I know, I know. But we're going to make the best of it, as always. Okay, okay, I'll take that for Pisces. Okay, okay. Just shot out like a bat out of hell. Okay, overall energy. Frog in reverse. So, water signs. For December, some of us are avoiding doing the emotional clutter clearing that we need to do. The frog, this is about clearing out the clutter emotionally. Old heartbreaks, old disappointments, old traumas, codependency, even ways that we feel about ourselves. We're avoiding it. Why are we avoiding it? Let's not avoid it. Let's not avoid it. Maybe because we just got out of Scorpio season. We're just done. The, the holidays are already kind of heavy. We 2020, we've been through it. We're just like, I don't want to do any more shadow work. Lauren, I know. I feel you. I peep your frustrations. But this is just what the cards are saying. So... Let's not avoid the work that we have to do. We want that new season. We want that new cycle. We got to make sure our hands are clear. That means we got to get some water in there. Wash them off, all right? Very good. So, Pisces, you have the elk. This is great. Really harnessing that Sagittarius energy. Not that surprising considering that Aries is your neighbor. So you're used to kind of feeling some heat from the sidelines. But this is sort of my, uh, my King of Pentacles card. This is you really um, standing kind of strong right now trying to be very independent trying to establish your kingdom also trying to harness your aggressions your emotions all that fire energy right so that way it um works harmoniously in terms of your confidence with that that yellow really talking about your solar plex chakra this is um allowing uh any fire that you feel to um fuel you as opposed to burn you up right now so that's really really good pisces now cancer we have dragonfly in reverse. The dragonfly upright talks about how truth transcends illusions, right? And particularly with this triangle back here, it almost looks like a little bit of a map. It almost looks like a little bit of a map. That's usually talking about like where we're going, where we want to go, right? Now in reverse, that's saying illusions are, are uh, 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 overcoming, they're, they're rising above the truth of the situation for you right now, right? So illusions, um, self-fulfilling prophecies, negative projections, um, worst case scenario kind of energy about where you're going. It's it, That's kind of getting the best to you right now, right? Kind of a, hoping for the best, but like assuming the worst. We don't want to be doing that. We don't want to be doing that, especially when it comes to our future. See how this dragonfly, it almost looks like an arrow. It's like you're really going up, but if you're just assuming that it's always going to be downward for you, it's going to be harder for you to pull yourself out of that slump. So we want to be mindful of that. Scorpio, the crow, 
in reverse. Now, see this right here? This is like a world. This is like a new cycle. It's a new season. It's a new phase in your life. And it's in reverse. So your crow also talks about your intuition, your connection to that. And being a bird, it talks about um, birds are divine messengers for us. So this is you not currently feeling super connected to your intuition, feeling like really bogged down in the natural, in the daily grind, in the every day-to-day -day life, right? That, that makes everything look so hard for us. Whereas in reality, we need to connect more, get out of our bodies, out of the flesh, and more into the spirit. Because in there, there is ascension, there is activation, and there is a new cycle coming, right? There is a new world. There is a new phase in our life coming, but it's almost like we need to be able to see it with our intuition, with our third eye, because things always happen in the ether, in the spiritual, before they manifest down into the natural. That's what manifestation is, right? As That's what we say, as above, so below, because it happens above first. So if we're so blinded to that, not connected to our intuition, we can't see it up there, right? It's that visualization. It's that vision board kind of energy. We need to see it to believe it. That way we can achieve it down here in the natural. So we're going to use the Rider weight. We're going to pull some tarot cards for you guys. See what we're, what we're walking out of November, what we were dealing with and what we're moving into in December. I'm hearing, what is that, Chubby Checkers? Come on, baby, let's do the twist. Come on, baby, let's do the twist. It's all the two of pentacles. Struggle with the juggle. Five of wands. Couple more, couple more. Two more, two more. That's what they said. That's what they said. One more. Because I'm stubborn. I just heard him go, Yes, you are. Yes, I am. One from the top. One from the bottom. Ooh, Pisces. One from the top. One from the bottom, one from the top, one from the bottom. Okay. Ooh, okay. You see the base? I was like, ooh. The world card, general energy for the whole fam for December, water signs. The world, completing old cycles, learning soul lessons, and moving into new seasons, new phases in our lives. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. So, Pisces. In December, we were dealing with a lot of Four of Wands energy. This is family. This is commitment. This is also fours representing your foundation, your stability. So there could have been. I'm getting the. Um, I'm getting the impression that perhaps there were some changes. There were some changes because see these rods, these wands right here. I almost see them like moving moving apart, and that would be two separate Two of Wands, which is two separate paths to take. So. It could be a situation where you and some people in the past that you were connected with kind of separated, went down different paths, different avenues, right? Maybe different homes. Um, perhaps there was like some kind of moving energy. There was some kind of um, fluctuation because I'm, I'm okay. Okay. I'm seeing like tectonic plates sort of moving, like still a part of the same whole, right? Like still part of the same family or the same social group, but the pieces have just separated and moved around a little bit as well. Um, I think which probably had to invoke your inner king of pentacles energy, which is like, I got to take care of myself. Like I have to be, I have to have my own stability. I have to have my own foundation, like other people, like I have to stay solid in myself, regardless of what's moving around me, right? Like I have to be a solid center point. That's really what I'm pulling in in this card. Now, moving into December, we have the lovers, we have the lovers card. Now, this is a card of Gemini, your neighbor over here. Now, this is also a card of choice. A card of choice. Now, I think that, you know, Pisces are, are can be very emotional. Um, they're very dreamy. They're very, like, 
you know, that I think that because of that, the Pisces aren't always taken very seriously. So I think that you are going into a phase where you are trying to be more reliable. You're trying to be more dependent. You're trying to be more like pentacle business oriented, a little bit more serious. You want to be taken a little bit more seriously moving forward into the new year. Um, and I think that kind of being so focused on that perhaps is taking you a little bit out of your natural element, which is watery and levy and like, whoo, like kind of like go with the flow, right? So I think moving into December, part of one of the choices that you're making is you might be deciding, making a choice, making a choice like, um, on a lover perhaps or this is you just choosing to kind of sit more in a vibration of love open yourself up to love again right with this warming sun energy like warm kind of thought the ice around you that you've kind of had to create this fortress around you so people knew like that you not to mess with you like you know that you weren't like an easy target that like you could be responsible like you could be like a go-getter be independent right um figuring out yeah figuring out how to balance that a little bit as well for yourself and now um being able to not only have yourself like established in the natural but also open yourself up emotionally to like perhaps participate with other people I, you know just the idea of love Maybe you're actually choosing, maybe you're actually choosing like a specific lover, right? Maybe they are a Gemini. They're right next to you. I don't know. I don't know, Pisces. Now, Gemini. In November, we have the Magician card, number one. Now, I'm literally seeing like number one. So I think in November, you really made a choice to one, make yourself like number one, like you're Gemini. Why did I just call you Gemini? You're a Cancer. Why did I just say that? That's really interesting. That's really interesting. Double-minded. That's why, Cancer. Double-minded. You've been really double-minded. You've been really... That's crazy. That's crazy. You've been really double-minded about whether or not... Like, because Cancer is such a motherly, nurturing sign, male or female. So it's always like you self-sacrifice constantly. You self... That's part of this illusions, transcending the truth. Is you self-sacrifice yourself all the time for the betterment of everyone else um that it almost makes you double-minded about like whether or not like you deserve love or if you deserve commitment or if you deserve like investment in yourself so a cancer will run themselves dry and ragged time after time after time for other people that's what this is that's what this is this is you not being double-minded anymore being more logical in your thought and being like wait i matter too wait I matter too. So this is you choosing yourself as I'm like number one. I have to be my first priority. I have to make sure that I'm taking care of myself. And the magician realizing that you have all of the tools on your on your table in which to manifest. Bring in all of the things that you want for yourself, right? Manifestation is when God's promises, his purposes for you, again, as above, come down into the below for you. And that happens when you believe that you actually deserve it. That the, the life that he put in your head, that fire in your belly, that dream he put in your heart matters, right? Even if it doesn't matter to anyone else, because you're such like a, like I said, like you will self-sacrifice yourself time and time again. Because I'm seeing the King of Swords card now. It's like you moving from the King of Cups, moving into the King of Swords energy, being like, no, I got to get mine. Like I got to go and I got to make sure that I'm fulfilling my purpose. Like I have a lot of potential and I'm going to see it through. That's crazy how that just happened. Wow. Because in December, we have the King of Cups in reverse. So uh, the King, of, that's what I just said again. Cancer's fucking me up right now. The Knight of Cups, the Knight of Cups bring, Knights bring messages, right? They're, they're forward moving. Now Cups is again, loving, emotional energy. Like the, the Knight of Cups would bring like a, like a love letter, right? Maybe I, I wanted to call it the King of Cups too, because again, it's that like protective, that nurturing energy that like, I've got everyone covered. I've got everyone covered. But you're like, wait, no one's got me covered. No one's got me covered. So in December, I'm almost hearing like shutting down shop. Cancer, you're shutting down shop. You're not like, I don't feel like you're being cold to anyone necessarily, but I definitely feel like you're not going out of your way to um like be a martyr i think you're over that victim mentality kind of thing i also don't see you like engaging in a lot of like romance in december again i think that you're just really really busy trying to take the the rollover energy from this november magician and move it into december move it into december that's part of
of the illusions transcend the truth. It's not your illusions of truth. It's the illusion of how other people see you versus the truth of who you actually are. It's versus the truth of who you actually are. I just heard like, I'm not going to say that, but people think that you, you've been, you're easily taken advantage of, that you're like a pushover. That's a better word. Thank you. That you're like a pushover. That is the illusion that the truth of the matter is, is that you're not. It's like enough is enough. It's like enough is enough energy for you in December. That's crazy, Cancer. Scorpio. November. Pi or five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles. Now, this is you being out. Maybe, maybe a Pisces put you out in the cold. Maybe that is. You guys are like... You guys are like washing into each other. You guys are washing into each other. Yeah, I think you guys are trying to pull from the other... Each of you are trying to pull from the other water signs as like tools in your tool belt. A little bit. I think all the fire energy from Sagittarius season, it, it might be a little much for you. Other than Pisces seems to be doing okay. It seems like it's a little bit much for you. It's like a little bit of a pressure cooker. It's like a bubbling up, a boiling up. And so I think you're trying to pull different strengths and weaknesses from each other in order to help cope. Yeah, it's like adding that extra water to help cool down the heat from Sagittarius season. Did you hear that click? That's exactly what it is. So Scorpio, in November, you felt a little five of pentacles, so a change, one fives are changes, so this is feeling a little left out, a little out in the cold, I'm also getting the idea that perhaps there was a situation where you put yourself out in the cold, in the sense that, like, you left, like, the, the warmth, the cover, the protection of a situation, whether that was a relationship, um, a home, a family, um, something with your job, and you kind of set yourself out, you kind of set yourself out in the cold a little bit, right, but again, it's also coming back to this not feeling super connected to your intuition. It's almost like a, I just need time by myself to figure it out. I think in November you were like, I kind of need time to myself to sort of figure this out a little bit. Almost doing what cancer does, which is like retract back into their shell. That's a little bit of what's going on there. And again, with, with this like, see how she's like covering her head? It's like keeping your head covered. But I'm also hearing like covering your ass. Covering your ass in the sense of not also wanting to overcommit. Maybe you're very busy in November and you didn't want to overcommit to anything or anyone as well because I think um intuitively even though you don't feel that um connected to your intuition at some unconscious level I think you knew you were going to need that extra energy in which to like go out and figure yourself out start in a new journey figure out where you're going next what your next move is so you didn't want to um deplete it on other people places and things and then in December, we have this two of swords. So again, this is a little bit of like employees only, like do not enter. You can't really come here. It's being a little bit blindfolded again, which isn't surprised because, you know, your intuition right here is also not super connected. It's the ability to not really be able to see where you're going next, see where you're going next, which is why you're a little bit closed off. You're a little bit blocked, right? It's a little bit of like no, no access, no entry, because it's like trying to preserve your sacred space, kind of shake off all the external energy. So that way you can figure out what your next move is. You can figure out what your next move is. I'm also feeling it's like a, it's also like a ready to duel. It's like a little bit of like a ready to duel sort of energy as well. It's like if anyone gets too close or tries to give you a hard time about it, I have this impression that you're going to put them very quickly in their place. Yeah, Cancer and Scorpio, you're, you're, you're really trying to pull from the other signs to, to kind of cool down the heat from this Sagittarius season. It seems like it's not particularly agreeing with you super well but Pisces shockingly enough um which Pisces you're the most mutable of, of of everyone um that you seem to actually be thriving in it which is interesting it's really interesting how Pisces is thriving so much which I think is maybe why I think the other two signs I think that's why Cancer and Scorpio I think you're pulling on Pisces energy because Pisces is um if there's actually like a Pisces person in your life you might be leaning on them for support right now because they're they're like thriving they're thriving in Sagittarius season with all the fire. I almost see Pisces like like giggling in like a hot tub and like Cancer and Scorpio are a little bit like lobsters in a, in a pot, right? Where Scorpio is more like in a hot spring, like woo. That's crazy. That's crazy. This hasn't happened in any of the videos. This never happens. So let's pull a focusing card. We have the Oracle of Mystical Moments. Let's see what everyone has to focus on. Couple shuffles, couple shuffies. Good for you, Pisces. People look at Pisces as the weakest link, but 
Not at the end of this year. Good for you, Pisces. Get on with your bad self. Now I'm hearing that James Brown song. Get up off of that thing and dance to you and feel better. That was the, the title of the Leo Weekly that I just did past. So maybe you're pulling on some Leo energy. Maybe there's something happening in the moon. Like in the... I, when I'm filming this, I don't know when you're watching this. When I'm filming this, um, Aries, we're in an Aries moon. Um, and Aries is Pisces' most immediate neighbor. So again, that might be why Pisces is doing so well. Taking on almost like that inner emperor. Folks, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, uh, this, this came out for the fire. I just said Leo, and this, this was the overall energy, focusing energy for the fire signs too. Lorelai, this is about discernment. This is about being in a transition period, the in-between, because she's half girl, half mermaid. And it's about, as we're in a transition moment, this boat right here, it's about to leave her sight, right? People, places, and things that aren't coming into your next season, right about to leave the picture. But she has it on a rope, and it's her having to make that decision whether or not to just let it go past without a fight, or whether to snip that, that string back and smash this box. It's like deciding whether or not you want to create some kind of collateral damage when something's already at the way on their way out the door while well, you're in a transition point. So it's almost like almost like your higher self versus your more like primal animalistic self. It's about discernment and making good character choices, um, revol it, it revolving your integrity. So Pisces. Card number two. Twos represent balance, liberty. This is beautiful. Liberating yourself from old people, places, and things, right? But again, it's with this lover's card and this four of wands card. It's like, it's just like a, a, a natural um, evolution. It's not like, don't ever call me again. Again, it's like tectonic plates. It's like still on the same continent, but it's like allowing people and places and things to like move as they need to, not trying to control the process. Finding again with this King of Pentacles elk energy, finding like your own internal stability, taking, it's also like taking yourself more seriously too. And in doing that, realizing that, yeah, like I do have room for love in my life and all that stuff, like liberating yourself from all of the projections and opinions that other people have put on you, even ones that you've put on yourself or the idea that you can't have, you can't have it all. It's really gorgeous. And what you let go of in this cage right here is like, it's a little dove, which is peace. Also liberating yourself from, from always feeling chaotic, never allowing yourself to have any peace in your life. And that comes from number two, maintaining balance. Like I said before, having the pentacles in the earthly realm, but also opening up your heart, establishing a foundation, allowing foundations around you to move around as they need to without that artificial control. Now, Cancer, you have card number 28, two and eight that breaks down to a 10, which is completion. Can you hear me now? This is a card about feeling isolated. It's about feeling a little bit lonely, right? Again, being in an in-between, a transition phase. Again, it's that constant like self-sacrificing energy that you're always doing, right? This is about in December, really needing to focus on um, whether or not, it's about the quality of your relationships that you have around you. Are the people around you really listening to you? And also, are you making yourself heard? Are you really speaking your needs into existence? Are you allowing other people to walk all over you? Are you, do you have the ability, right? Do you need to focus on the ability a little bit more to be like, wait, I have a boundary right here. Like, this is my emotional boundary. Like, I need you to respect that. Like, I need this too. I need that too. So that way I'm good. I'm okay. Because I need to manifest what I need into my existence. I need to make sure that I'm okay. I can't constantly be compromising myself off the way into little bits and pieces all of the time, right? This is about taking accountability for how you co-create in December, but also really taking an assessment and audit of your relationships moving forward. Do the people around you actually hear you? Do they act, are they actually invested enough in you to actually hear what you're saying? Ant, or Scorpio, 38, that's an 11, 10, 11, that's interesting. You have lullaby. This is about soothing yourself to sleep. This was this. Again, it's like just resting, figuring out, figuring yourself out, giving yourself the time and space to figure out who you really are, connect back to your intuition and what you really need and kind of shutting down shop to everyone and everything else around you if need be. You might actually be getting like some some messages while you're sleeping that you might just be chalking up to like oh that was a weird dream but there actually might be some significance um again because uh, in your waking hour you don't feel super tuned into your intuition so 
like your higher guidance so your your guardian angels and god might be trying to send you messages while you're sleeping and you might be chalking them up to like huh that was weird there's something more significant in there for you and what he's doing he's playing this gigantic is it a cello i don't know it looks maybe like a cello i just heard lemon cello that's for someone but this is also about melody right finding your own flow in life finding your own melody something that is easy to just kind of go with right it's like not every melody suits every person right so this is about you finding your own vibe being able to like ride your own wave as the kids say right even if with this moon on it you don't exactly know what that is right now it's about finding it it's about like scorpio's finding themselves in december which is really beautiful so i want to pull an advice card for you guys this has been the craziest reading i did not expect you guys to you, you like tried to missy elliot me flip it and reverse it okay okay so we're gonna use the spirit animal oracle this is the regular spirit animal not the wild spirit oracle these are more domesticated animals they have table manners beautiful mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes overall card number one ant spirit time to collaborate ants are also indicative for me as a person to the divine time to collaborate time to work with your angels time to work with god time to do some chakra cleansing gotta get your freak on y'all Pisces, card number six, beaver spirit, lay a solid foundation. This is beautiful. This is exactly what we've been talking about with this elk spirit. Laying a foundation in, in the natural, in your finances, in your dependability, in your work, laying a smart foundation about what you want in love, being open to love, how to develop yourself as a person, um, not, not hold on to attachments and codependency and allowing people to go about their journeys and know that you're still connected with them and still hold love in your heart, right? It's very four of wands, right? Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is about being able to have it all in balance. Remember, liberty. Also, liberating yourself from like, um, uh, also like over overindulging, overindulging. And that, I mean, that could be like food or substances or alcohol or something like that. But I'm also getting it's like um, Pisces like to gorge themselves on love or they'll gorge themselves on work. It's always like all or nothing with the Pisces. And part of laying your solid foundation is about having more balance in your life, right? So. There isn't a single corner in your life that like falls through. Everything is okay. Your work, your personal, your love, your spiritual, your creative, every, the whole floor is even for you. So you can stand on it um, firmly no matter what corner of the room you're on. That's really beautiful. Now, Cancer, card number 12 breaks down to a three. Canary spirit, sing your own song. This is exactly what we're talking about. Speak your needs into existence. Share your truth with other people. Even if you just feel like a little bird, you're not you're an eagle right this is about your throat chakra you might be having throat issues like you might have a sore throat seeing somebody drinking like tea with honey um so i'm also seeing somebody drinking a hot toddy i'm also seeing somebody drinking a hot toddy um but again this is about playing your own song your authenticity your truth what are your needs speaking your needs to other people it's really really important and not self-sacrificing not seeing your entire value as a person wrapped up in what you can do for other people even though that is a beautiful and amazing quality that you have not seeing your entire worth wrapped up into that and also being able to again number one make yourself a priority in your own life right if cancer is not good if cancer is depressed if cancer is not taken care of well then you're also no good to anyone else so if it really matters that much to you to be able to be at service which again is a beautiful thing to other people then first and foremost you have to be at service to yourself and you can't do that um unless you're creating a, an abundantly fulfilled blessed purposeful life for yourself which god has intended for you as above but we need to focus on us reinvest in you cancer so that way you can bring it down below cancer or scorpio shit stop doing that the two of you <sighs> card number 55 a master number snake spirit talks about death and rebirth cycles just like a scorpio does time to heal time to heal what do you feel about yourself 
in December. Time to heal old attachments, old projections, old heartbreaks, old trauma. I'm also getting um times when you you didn't take opportunities. Um time like there's a sense of needing to forgive yourself for times that you missed out on good opportunities for whatever reason, for whatever reason it is. And to allow yourself to shed that old skin and grow into the new. Again, the world keeps coming up. Grow into a, the new world, a new phase in your life. And that comes from having forgiveness for others, but also having forgiveness for oneself as well. You're a Scorpio. You're good at the death and rebirth cycles, but there's something about the 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 death, the old, like holding on to you, holding on to you a little bit, which again, you have this two of swords. You have this like blocked off energy ready to duel if anyone gets too close to you, but that feels like a um, a, a mechanism of, of protecting yourself as opposed to um, mindfully using that sword to chisel away, trim the fat off of anything so that way you can get to the real meat, the real substance of what you really want to have moving forward so let's go into your crystals this is the crystal wisdom healing oracle deck if you're in i feel like people keep asking me about crystals in the ether so we're going to use this deck um you do not have to buy these crystals they are recommendations if you do want to get them um they are pretty though they are very very pretty um i find that the areas um of interest that these crystals hit are more important to note than the actual crystals themselves but they are recommendations if you want to get them um i always suggest listening to what these crystals really help with and then praying for healing in those areas for yourself because praying is always for y'all and god's more powerful than any crystal but they certainly are pretty so these cards are beautiful too They're also loud. Who else got that? Leo got that one, I believe. All right. Overall crystal for everyone. All right, Pisces, card number 32, Shiva Lingam, alchemical union. A Shiva Lingam embodies the wisdom of the deities brought to earth. It symbolizes uniting dualities and manifesting the creative force. Being compassionate with yourself to heal. You have masculine and feminine and other dualities within your being. Integrate these to release your creative power. A Shiva Lingam is produced from the tumbling waters. Life shapes you in the same way, so go with the flow. Soul scouring reveals your divine core. If you were hurt or abused, be compassionate with yourself to create healing on all levels. Get back to basics and put passion back into your life. Honor, honor your libido and create a fire. Create balance. Expect a new relationship or, revitalization or a revitalization of an old one. Um, cut ties where appropriate. Remember you create through the power of thought. Everything passes. In a turbulent time, unexpected benefits emerge. True relationship transcends earthly experience. It is rooted in soul unification and unconditional love. That's nice. Cancer. Rhodochrosite. The heart reviver. Rhodochrosite teaches the heart to assimilate painful feelings without shutting down. Dissolving denial and identifying ongoing detrimental patterns, it offers compassionate love and forgiveness. You face the truth with loving awareness. Deep down, you feel alienated, unloved, or unappreciated. A history of sexual or emotional abuse creates disease, or you may have misused or feared your sexual power in the past. You may be repressing something you do not want to face. Irrational fears and paranoia and unacceptable emotions need to be acknowledged and transformed. Time for a change of viewpoint. Begin to seek the gifts in your experiences rather than seeing the negative effects. Check out whether what you were taught in childhood is still relevant to you today. Releasing resentment from your heart creates well-being. Scorpio. Flint. Portal power. 
Flint stabilizes energy and cuts through to the core of issues, clearing blockages and loosening ties. It opens portals to other worlds and hidden aspects of yourself. You are a person with profound inner depths. Do not be afraid to explore this hidden side. It contains treasure beyond knowing. Together with attitudinal karma and repressed emotions affects well-being. Flint connects you to your ancestors. A natural traveler, you know how to negotiate the shamanic underworld to obtain healing insights. Strengthen your boundaries. Cut through confusion to the core of the matter. Soul retrieval is necessary if you left any part of yourself in another life or an abused childhood experience. An unwelcome visitor from the past can be left behind, but recognize lessons before you move on. Paying attention to energetic boundaries and core strength, cutting detrimental ties, and strengthening your connection to the planet maintains well-being. So, this was your Element by Design reading for December. You guys, you guys had me on my toes. You most certainly did, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really hope that this was helpful for you, and I really appreciate you guys coming and spending this time with me. If you are interested in your individual monthly for December, that is on the Patreon that is linked in the description box, along with my Instagram, my email for personals, and all the decks that I use. I know we use a lot of decks today, but if you want to get any of them for yourself, they are in the description box. Until I see you next time, water babies, I love you very much. Stay prayed up. Stay blessed. Happy holidays.